Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today I'm going to talk about a new feature in SQL Server 2016 that is Role Level Security. I've already blogged about this feature in my blog, so I'll take you there. Implementing Role Level Security with SQL Server 2016. So what exactly is Role Level Security or RLS? RLS or Role Level Security is a feature that enables fine-grained control over access to rows in a table, allowing you to easily control which user can access which data with complete transparency to the application. So here access to which data we mean at the row level. So prior to SQL Server 2016, you could only restrict a user up to a table level. But here with SQL Server 2016, you go to a more fine grainer level that is a row level. You give access to all the users for a particular table, but you provide access restrictions on a row level. So with this RLS row level security, you provide security on top of rows instead of the higher table level. So here any user can go and query the table, but he'll be only able to see the rows that are allowed for him to see. So going below, as you can see in the image, here the nurse in a patient table can only see the patients or the rows that she has access to like the green highlighted ones. She can only see these three rows but she cannot see the other four rows. To set up row level security on a particular table you need to go only these three simple steps. So first step is you have to create users and grant them read or select access for a particular table. The second step is you have to create an inline table value function that will contain the filter predicate for that table. So this function filter predicate can be a sophisticated business logic with multiple joins or it can be a simple where clause like where manager code is equal to user HR. So this is what we'll see in our example below. Third is the security policy that you have to create and associate this function with this security policy as a filter predicate. So what the security policy will do is whatever security logic that you will provide in this function, it will associate that uh, filter predicate with the select query. Please note that these functions and security policies should be unique for a table. So to create an RLS for another table, you need to create separate functions and security policy. So going below, we'll see how this function will create the inline table value function and the security policy, how we can create it, we'll see below. So I'll just go to SSMS. The whole code below and the exercise I have in I have already in SSMS. So let's jump to the SSMS. So here I have SQL Server 2016 installed with this instance. And I have the testman DB as a test database. You can have it with any name. So I'm just using this database. And with the first step, I'll just create these three users. So I'm creating these three users because I will provide them different different access. So this is my CEO user. So he'll have access to every to all data. And this HR user and the finance user will have access to only their particular departments. So within a table, the CEO will be able to see all the records. The HR will be able only to see the HR related records. And the finance user will only be able to see the finance related records. Okay, so uh, I don't have a table, so I'll create a, an employee table with employee code, employee name, salary, and his manager. Okay, now we'll insert some test records here. First, the record for my top boss, that is the CEO, his name, and his salary, and he's the top boss, so he does not have any manager, so he, it's null here. Now, the records for the two different labels, the user HR and user finance. So their boss is CEO, so manager ID comes CEO. And within these two users, I have these three employees, Manoj P, Saurabh as, Deepak P. I'll insert these three particular employees under user HR. And I'll insert these two users, employees, Keshav K and Vivek S under finance manager. Okay, so if we see here, so these are the eight records that we entered above. So the first record is of the CEO. Mm, the second record is of the HR manager, the third record is of the finance manager and the rest of the three records they report to the HR manager and the last two records they report to the finance manager. So while implementing role level security you have to make note of this column. So you will have to have a, this, uh, this kind of column in each and every table. Uh, you can create it with any other name, I have created the manager code. You can have it with any other name but you have to have this column everywhere and you have to have a mapping for the particular rows and for that particular user that has access to this particular row, right? For uh, here, uh, finance user has access to these three rows, HR user has access to these three rows, and the CEO has access to this these two rows, but he's a CEO, so he should be able to see all the data that will provision in our uh, predicate function that we'll see below, okay? So before going to this row level security, let me uh, show you how traditionally we used to do before SQL Server 2016 like in previous versions of SQL Server 20, uh, 
six equals so that is 2014 2012 and uh, way back so uh, normally what you do is you do a select stuff from employee right you will get all the records but what you can do is you can provide a filter here like you can have a manager code in the where clause and you can have a user access right so by this way you can implement this role with security and uh, i have added a or clause also if the if the user is a ceo so he should be able to see all the records so let's see how this thing will work okay so if a user is a hr so he can only see his records right three records if a user is a finance record he can only see two records right last record so if a particular user is a ceo so he should be able to see all the records so this is the way we used to implement role level security but as you can see this is prone to lot of issues that first of all it is prone to sql injection second is any user can provide his or her name so if i'm hr user i can provide here user ceo and i can see all the records right so here you are providing security feature like this but there are other means to break the security features right being me a user i can just go and just do a select stuff from tbo dot employee table so there is no security policy which is restricting me to see only the records that belong to me so here i am able to see all the records right so what sql server 2016 has done is it has provided the role level security by which you can restrict the data according to the user context and we'll see here going forward so as part of step first i'll just grant select on dbo table to all these three users okay as part of step two i had to create this inline table value function which contains the filter predicate logic okay so the filter predicate logic is very similar to the logic that we saw in our stored procedure so as you can see here the stored procedure is where manager code is equal to the input user access or the user access is equal to the ceo or the top manager right so here i have uh, put it similar way and uh, let's create this function so if you can see here this create function and this is a parameter that goes with this function and it returns a table with a schema binding option without this it won't work and uh, return select one as uh, so this is you can give any name step three is you have to create a security policy by adding the function as a uh, filter predicate so here create security policy manager filter add filter predicate that is my function that i've created above that is this function name so this function name and here this should be same okay and this manager mgr code this is the filter column so the column name should be the same column that i've used in my table dbo.employ right so if you see above in my dbo.employ table mgr code so this column should be same here also right on table dbo.employ with state is equal to on so on means this security predicate this security policy will work if this is off this won't work so i'll just execute it okay now let's check uh, okay now our security policy is on on this table and what this will do is if i execute this select statement it will check my execution context on which uh, based upon which user i am executing this row and based upon my execution context it, it will automatically add a where condition in the select statement that won't be visible to me but that is visible to but that is applied by the sql server and that is visible to the sql server itself so let's see by just executing the select star from employee table right i am not able to see any records because my username is this manoj pan but and i have created these three users right user hr user fin and user ceo so only these three users have access to this table and its records so let's execute by their user context so i'm executing as a user hr i'll just do a select star from employee note here i'm not using any where clause right and at the end i'm reverting the execution context so here see user hr is able to only see these three records user finance is able to see only the two records and the user ceo is able to see all the records right so this way you can easily implement a role with security on a particular table and you can restrict the access on particular rows uh, that you don't want to share with other users so this is the this is a very good and efficient method because in the in the traditional method that i showed you earlier that has a lot of drawbacks and loopholes like the sql injection and and with the security function anybody can play with and because that's a logic ultimately in the stored user or some ad hoc queries right 
so anybody can play with that logic and anybody can break, break that logic that is also prone to SQL injection as I already told you but this role level security feature is inbuilt in SQL Server and nobody is going to change it the security policy is very simple and straightforward it just uses the function that you have created earlier so this function is like you can use this function in any way like can contain this simple where clause or it can even contain uh, you know combination of complex code that involves a lot of complex join conditions and all so that you can you know so if, if you have a very complex uh, security framework or something uh, you can uh, easily apply it here also so i think this is going to be a very good feature and a lot of people will love this uh, thank you very much for watching this video please let me know your comments and your feedback thank you